Hey, what's up everyone? Cliff here. Today is going to be a very simple video, just testing out um, Returnal on a 6800. You will be using the iNeo 2 to do that. And uh, it's a lovely game. I really enjoyed my playthrough on PS5, so I figured, you know what, let me get it for PC. And we might as well give it a quick test uh, while we're at it. So, alright, let's boot the game. Oh, a little bit of pickup. Um, that's going to be a problem. If you've never played this game, it's a roguelike. So, you know, one of those games where you die all the time. And the thing about this game is audio. It's probably the best I've heard in any game in the recent, uh, ever since this game came out, <laughs> essentially, because honestly, nothing has come close to it. It sounds so freaking good. Oh, and by the way, this is a 16 gigabytes. Uh, INEO 2 so you know for people that were concerned with the fact that the game recommended I believe 32 gigabytes I remember a whole fuss about that um, V-Sync no 60 FPS sounds about right I mean I guess we can start with low yeah let's start with low let's run the benchmark Okay, clearly we're gonna need more wattage. Let's try to go up to 15. Yeah, I guess auto is not set right now. My bad for that. I would have to reset. I might do that after, actually. And to be expected. I mean, this is a PS5 exclusive, so it's to be expected that we're gonna need some serious power to run this game. So by the way, the top graph is current FPS. So right now we're not hitting 30. So let's go pro mode then. Seems like we have to go pro mode to hit that 30 and even then it's dipping a little under. But we are on native resolution, so I'm gonna let it run once to see how long is the benchmark. Okay, so using Aya Neo's preset, the only way you're going to hit 30 FPS on native resolution is on pro mode. Um, let's try let's try lowering the resolution. Oh, and by the way, if you have a PlayStation controller lying around, I strongly recommend playing this game using a DualSense controller. Um, of course, on a handheld, you know, if you want to play in handheld mode, it's probably not going to be fe feasible. But otherwise, man, it's such a game to highlight the extra features of the DualSense controller. Because of the way the vibration works on Ion Neo, it's actually a pleasant feeling uh, with regular vibrations. But of course you would want to have headphones like I have right now, because otherwise... I mean, we seem to be able to hit 30 FPS. It's a little dark right now. The first, the first world the first biome, I guess. It's quite dark. But it looks good. Man, it looks good. This game looks awesome. Let's try... Going down in resolution. Oh my god, the, f the vibe, the ambiance of that game. I just love it. Ugh. Okay, so I'm on 800p. We seem to be going up but not by a lot all things considered I mean yeah so I guess it's pretty clear that this game is not doing 60 FPS now what I'd be curious to find out is if having 32 gigabyte of RAM would actually push me way that much higher I don't think so I, I have my this theory that the reason why they asked for 32 gigabytes is because of fast loadings so because it's not a guarantee that all devices will have that support, they want to dump into more RAM. That's my theory on why they recommend 32 gigabytes, but I don't know. Okay. 
definitely looks good. Oh, do I not have a gun at first? Even on 800p, to be honest. So here's what we're gonna try now. Let's see if we can do 800p, because clearly we're not hitting 60 FPS. I don't believe that, regardless of what we do, we're gonna hit it. Because um, we are on low right now. But what we could try is to go medium at 800p and see if... Um, we're still around 30, seems to be the case. We're dipping slightly under from time to time. Average is 42. But it's gonna go down. Oh yeah. Yeah, medium is pushing us well under 30. So you know what? Let's scale this device. <laughs> and go... Epic? <laughs> Let's go epic. Let's just see what it looks like for a second, but clearly this device can't pull it off. Man, look how amazing this looks. Ugh. I know it's going to be a little dark, so it's hard to see details, but mine does it look good. Alright. Okay, I'm going to stop messing around now. Um, you know, I'm kind of wondering if we wouldn't be better off just... Oh, snap. I wasn't... Okay. Ah, okay, so there was no FSR, no nothing. Has a couple of different features. So let's try FSR. So we're gonna... Okay, so we're gonna go back 800p low with FSR active. Um, let's go, yeah, quality. I guess we can start with quality. See what it looks like. Ooh, much better, okay. Okay, we're, we're getting places now. Man, the vibrations on this game, I swear. They're so good. Hey, <laughs> oh. And make sure, honestly, this game you want to play with headphones. I think I said it with the audio. It's just so good. Saw a little bit of vertical tearing. That doesn't happen often on this device, but it does. I mean, I'd rather go with vertical tearing any day of the week than horizontal tearing. Continuing towards the signal selection. All right. So the thing is, when shooting your guns in this game, there's a lot of features that are. Um, working with the dual sense controller. So that's why, you know, if you have the opportunity to play it that way, I would strongly recommend. So at 800p, it doesn't seem like we're gonna be hitting 60 FPS on low uh, with FSR and quality, but um, and I don't know if you're going to see this from the capture since I'm capturing at 30 FPS. It's a lot smoother. It, it's really like it's a more pleasant experience, even though we're not hitting 60. So, you know, I think 40, 45 seems to be fairly achievable most of the time, at least in this biome. Um, so let's go FSR perf. Performance. Oops. Yeah. FSR performance. See what it feels like. Okay. I mean, by the look of it, it seems that 60 FPS in this game is just not a target you should have, essentially. Oh, 
Oh man, it looks good. It's gonna be low 800p FSR on performance, and you're gonna have to push your TDP. I don't think 33 is necessary. You know, it keeps me in around 29 right now. I can't see. It seems to be building some cash here and there, but all things considered, it's definitely playable. I, I could see myself finishing this game on a handheld for sure. I have to use the scan all the time because, you know, the, the brightness of the panel is very low so that it doesn't come out too um, lit up on the camera, but that makes it so that I can barely see myself. <laughs> well, thankfully for that. Oh man. God, this game feels good. Like, I have the, uh, what's it called? The headset from Sony for PlayStation. And it is true that it's tweaked for 3D sound. It sounds pretty good. Um, sounds amazing on an amplifier. You know, well, a full 5.1 or 7.1 uh, system. But even if you don't have, um, Sony's proprietary headset. It still sounds amazing. You should select RO3D. It just sounds so good. Uh oh. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Ugh. I swear that's that sound just sent. Oh man, I felt it in my spine. <laughs> that game is awesome. So one last benchmark, this time FSR performance on low at 800p. And we are using pro mode. Um, why is it not? Oh, nice. So we're using pro mode. I, honestly, I don't think this game is going to be very playable unless you really push your device. So it's gonna be one of those games where it'll be best played when being plugged in. And there you have it guys. This is the benchmark. And there you have it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.